back to Cooking with Gloria. I'm Gloria, and today I want to share with you a very delicious agua de horchata. It's a very traditional in Michoacan. Mexican, of course. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. cinnamon, one stick of cinnamon, rice, one tablet of abuelita chocolate, evaporated milk, condensed milk, filtered water, vanilla extract made at home. Make sure that your vanilla is not imitation. It needs to be 100% vanilla extract. This is everything we need to make this delicious Mexican agua fresca from Michoacan. So let's get started. Let's prepare this delicious agua fresca. I am going to start by making my simple syrup in my saucepan. I'm adding my sugar and I'm going to add just enough water to cover it. And this is done. Now let's go to the stove and start cooking it. Okay, my friends, we're gonna start making our simple syrup. It's gonna take about two to three minutes before the sugar has dissolved completely. When this is done, I'll show it to you. This, this is how we make the simple syrup. I'll see you in a bit. My friends, the, the sugar has dissolved completely and now I'm gonna turn off the stove and I'm just going to let it rest until it's completely cooled down. So when we start using it, in this little plate, I have my rice and I have my cinnamon stick. Last night, I added some water to hydrate the rice and the cinnamon stick. And let me show it to you. I prepared this last night. I covered it and I left it in the refrigerator. The rice is nice and soft and the cinnamon stick has absorbed most of the water it's nice and soft now what i'm going to do is just add it to my blender cup completely and i'm using the same water okay we don't want to throw away that water because it has the flavor of the cinnamon and it has the flavor of the rice so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the abuelita tablet the chocolate tablet and i'm going to go ahead and just add it in here we're going to go ahead and blend it for about three to four minutes until it is completely blended okay when everything is nice and blended what i'm going to do i am going to go ahead and show you how it looks i'm going to put it through a sifter because we don't want pieces of rice or pieces of the cinnamon stick to go into our agua fresca i'm adding just a little bit of water here to my blender cup so i don't throw away any flavors at all once i've added that water i'm just gonna go ahead and mix it well and i want to show you what we don't want in our agua fresca we don't want those little pieces so i'm going to discard that i'm going to start adding my evaporated milk and we're going to mix it in and then i'm going to add my evaporated milk my condensed milk I mean, and here we're just gonna go ahead, add it completely, and now we're just gonna mix it in, making sure that everything is nice and incorporated. Here I am going to use two tablespoons 
of the vanilla extract. The vanilla extract gives it such a delicious flavor. So here I'm just gonna mix it in very well. We wanna make sure that everything is nice and incorporated. I'm gonna taste it to see if I need to add some syrup. And yes, I need to add a little bit of the simple syrup. Remember, the sugar is to taste. I'm gonna mix it one more time and I'm going to taste it and see how this came out, okay? Just make sure that you mix it completely. Okay, this tastes delicious. Now. I am ready to start with my pitcher, and what I'm gonna do is just add enough ice. We wanna add a lot of ice, so when we start adding this um, mixture, it gets really nice and cold, and I'm helping myself with a big spoon because I don't wanna make a mess, and I, I'm gonna start pouring it in there. Look at this, look how delicious this agua fresca looks. It's a very traditional Michoacana agua fresca. And here I'm just going to mix it in. I want to show you how this looks. Look at this. Look at how those flavors. It's full of ice. And of course, I have my glass here on the side, of course, with a lot of ice. And now I am just ready to start filling my glass with the delicious horchata. You could see how it's running through all the ice and I know when I'm ready to taste it, it's gonna be so nice and fresh, especially with this hot weather. We need something refreshing instead of buying those soft drinks. And you know something, you know what I'm going to add? I'm going to add just a little pinch of the cinnamon just a little pinch of the cinnamon right on the top believe it or not the cinnamon gives it really delicious flavor and i'm adding to the to the pitcher a little pinch of the cinnamon powder this is completely done i can't wait to taste it My friends, I am done with my agua chata. This is the part you know that I love, I enjoy, and I really look forward to tasting my recipes. It's nice and cold, and let's see how this came out, okay? Excuse me. This is just irresistible. I wish you were here to enjoy it with me. This agua de horchata michoacana, I know that you guys are going to love it and enjoy it with your family in this hot weather. I hope you make it at home and enjoy it. If you liked and loved my recipe, please don't forget to subscribe, give me thumbs up, share my video on social media so more people get to know Cooking with Gloria. Don't forget to push the notification bell. And if you did already, it's going to be activated. And every time I make a new recipe, yes, you are going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. 
And of course, I will stay enjoying my Mexican Michoacana horchata. Bye-bye.